Hey guys, how's it going? We got another rain day here in Northern Illinois, so today is gonna be garage day. So uh, I unboxed my luggage for my street triple the other day, so we're gonna go ahead and install it now. And here it is. Uh, so we got the saddlebags here. Saddlebags along with the luggage or the tail bag, and that's the hardware. And this little piece right here is the piece that I'm gonna be using to attach this to the tail of this bike right here. This street triple. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. All right, first we're gonna unpack some of this stuff here. So this is for the saddlebag. These are the two loops that I will be installing. They look like this. I'm going to be installing these uh, underneath my um, the seat. This is going to get, and this is what the straps look like. There should be one, two, three, four of them. Four anchor points for the tail bag. Now we're going to unbox this. This one is for the uh, saddlebags. So we're going to go ahead and dig into that right now. Now these hardware, they are specific, um, so they're bike specific, so the hardware gets sent, they get all get sent at the same time, but they are packaged separate from the saddlebags, um, because this hardware is specific to my bike, which is the Triumph. So these are going to go on the bike somehow, and we got more packaging. Alright, got two poles. This should be the instructions manual. Blaze panniers, yep. I'm gonna go ahead and look at these. They don't look too bad. They're black and white, but they just seem pretty clear. And then we got some hardware. Got some black bolts here. Got some plastic hardware. Plastic. And then we got another piece right here. Metal piece. Add more weight to the bike, why not? And another piece of hardware. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and read the instructions and then we're going to do uh, one side of, of the saddlebags and get these installed and show you how they go on. See you in a bit. So what they want us to do is get this bar. It looks like this, as you can see. This bar is going to get attached right here underneath the seats. All right, first thing we got to do is remove these two bolts one and two. These are the bolts underneath the passenger foot peg rest, that's what these are. And then once we get those removed, then we'll go ahead and put um, this bracket right in. We're gonna go ahead and replace them with these bolts now from the kit, which is right here. And that's what we're gonna do right now. They want this piece right here, as you can see, and like that. And then what's gonna happen is the crossbar is gonna go right on top of it. So let me show you. And this is the crossbar. And the crossbar is going to go right over the top, just like this. 
just like that. It's hard to do with one hand and a camera. But essentially, this piece is gonna be right, like just like that, there. So well, of course he does. <laughs> So now that's attached, so we got the bracket to hold the tube for the saddle bags attached, and now we have to install the reinforcement bracket underneath this. So it's gonna look like this, and that's what this is. So this is gonna go right underneath, like so. So they're gonna go on one, two, three, four, five, and six. You wanted to come out here, huh? Yeah. Want to see what I was doing? We're going to install this piece to right here. So this is the piece we just got done. Uh, this is the bracket and this is the um, reinforcement bracket. So those are now installed. And now we're gonna put this plastic piece. And that's how that's gonna go on. And then we're going to attach, we're gonna attach this piece along in here, like so. And this is going to hook to the uh, the bag itself. All right, this comes from the pannier, the side bag of the blaze system. So this goes right here. So again, this is all in your diagram. So make sure the right bolt goes in the right place in the right hole. All right. I wanna show you guys something really quick. So I put this shorter bolt on here. This bolt does not require a nut. These three require a nut. This one is the longest bolt out of the set of um, hex bolts. And um, this bolt also, the reason why it's longer is because it's gotta attach this to the bracket here. And then it's gonna require a washer and a fly nut. So that is what it looks like after being attached. Okay, up next is this next piece right here, got this piece. This you can see is L, and then the other one is R on it. So that's what I'm doing right now, just the left side. And we need the corresponding um, rod, which is this, and it does have L on it. Right there, you see an L on the end, right here. And the other one will say R on the end, um, next to number eight so you guys can see that right there here and get this attached like so let's get started all right so that's what it looks like attached you got two bolts here and then two nuts on the other side and you can see the rod attached to the plastic piece for l and now it goes in like this Just like that. One last thing, 
as WMOTEG also provides these little bumpers at the end and they go on the end of these little things right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on before I put the saddle bag on. So it is time to install this bag onto here. And as you can see, that's how the saddle bag looks on the bike. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these two bolts out. So one, these two bolts, one and two. And I'm gonna put these in there as anchor points for this new um, tail bag. Okay, we got the anchor points installed. And this is what they look like. Two of them, one on each side and one on this side. So these are anchor points for the tail bag, which we're gonna put it on right now. So we got these loops right here. Uh, these are the loops that are going to go through this D-ring that I just bolted to the bike in the bottom to the tail tidy. And two of them are gonna go through this D-ring, and then the other two are gonna go through some contraption down here to the um, foot pegs of the bike. And that's how it's gonna secure, secure this whole bag to the bike. All right, so that's the bag attached to the bike. We got one strap down to the D-ring, which is one anchor point down here. Here's the D-ring that I installed just a minute ago with the bolts onto the tail of the bike. Strap goes up. This is not all strap all the way down. We got a cam buckle here. Uh, this strap in the front here goes into um, the passenger foot peg, not the new bracket of the Santa bags that I just installed. It actually is gonna loop through the actual peg itself here. All right, folks, that's what the saddlebags and the tailback looks like once it's been installed. All right, so here are all the straps tucked away in this elastic piece. There's what it looks like in the back of the tail. We got, I haven't really like cinched all the way down because this is just for demonstration purposes. It's, it's snug enough. I uh, don't have any gear in it or anything like that, but that's what it looks like from the front end. The two straps, saddlebags, that looks, yep, that's from the front end, looking back at it. And um, that's what it looks like from the side here. There we go. Yep, it doesn't look too bad. Not too bad at all. So now this bike is set up for Krieger bags and SW Motec. Side view here. And that's what it looks like from the side. Not too bad, not too bad. It actually looks good on this white and red combination, in my opinion, the bags. Um, I'm actually kind of impressed by these Santa bags. I didn't think it would look good on this bike, but I didn't really think it would. Uh... I hope you guys enjoyed the installation of the SW Motec Blaze and SW Motec Rear bag that's the name of this model just a rear tail bag for the triumph street triple this is a 2015 so most naked bikes this will work ducatis everything like that should work just fine guys i'm gonna head out see you later bye